Good afternoon. Hello. And welcome to a, a rather wet park in Liverpool. A bit more settled today. Yeah. Storms. We've just had two days of storms and uh, the rain's finally stopped and the wind's finally died down. And we thought we'd do a bit of a different video today. Yep. Uh, I don't know if people will be aware, but he and I are huge animal lovers. Uh huh. In particular, dogs. We. <laughs> Sorry, one's just pulling me over at the moment. <laughs> uh, we would love one ourselves, but for one yeah. reason or another, work commitments. And yeah, we just don't feel we, we could got the outside space. give them the time and attention that they would need. So, but yes, we have an alternative. We dog share. Uh, these three live with my sister and we steal them every opportunity we get. And take them for a walk. <laughs> So you won't have seen them on the hikes with us because yeah. they're getting older now and they're not really capable of doing more than a couple of hours out on the trail. But And even the, the greyhounds that you'd think are super active athletic dogs aren't. Yes, they are they're not. They're super lazy dogs. They are lazy <laughs> articles. Uh, yeah, so it's lovely. It's really nice for us to just get out of a weekend when we're at home. Yeah. We're not able to get away and just to go for a nice dog walk. Yeah. So, so <laughs> <laughs> let's go and meet them. Let's meet them one by one, eh? Okay, so this is my best boy, Bondy. I know it's a silly name, but his racing name was Chase the Bond. So we kept it thinking that he would know it and he didn't <laughs> at four. So he has a silly name, but he's a beautiful boy. He's a blue brindle uh, and he's from the Retired Greyhound Trust. These make absolutely fantastic pets. They are, he's very lazy. Um, a 20 minute walk will do him. He is getting on a bit now, he's 10. But he was, back in the day, he was quick, wasn't he? He was very, really very quick. Fast. He won over half of his races. Uh, when they come to you, the greys, they're very timid. They haven't really ever been in a home. So it takes a while, um, probably about 18 months to just get used to that. but. Once you are part of their, we call it a circle of trust, don't we? Uh, they'll love you forever. If he looks a bit miserable, it's just because he doesn't really like long walks. <laughs> girl is Lily. Uh, she's also uh, from the Retired Greyhound Trust. Her and Bondi aren't related but they are the same age. She's 10, coming up to 11 in May. Uh, so again getting on a bit now. We've had them for about six years. Uh, Lily is just the most chilled girl ever. She is just got this gorgeous personality. She's great with people, she's great with other dogs. She's just a joy to have. You're just great around. aren't you Lils? She's <laughs> just great. And this little crazy lady is Tosca. Say hello Tos. She's normally very vocal. 
Uh, she is a rescue. She came from Phoenix Rescue in Romania. We don't really know too much about her history. We know she was on the streets. Uh, that's where she was rescued from. But she does have quite a few scars. She's got sort of half an ear here. She's got this burn on her nose. And she's been tied up at some point. We think she has this huge scar that runs sort of right the way around her neck. She's possibly maybe been tied up as a puppy and grown around that. But she is, she is crazy. She is high she maintenance. She certainly is. <laughs> but she is a testament to the spirit of dog. She is such a loving little thing. She loves people. She loves life. She loves squeaky tongues. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's just, she's a joy to be around, really, most of the time. <laughs> Say hello! 